Tyler. I'm a handyman for the average man. And so I have here this pool behind me. This is a friend's pool that I'm helping with. And I just want to show you how green this is. Once upon a time, this pool was very clear, very clean. All the pH, chlorine, the water hardness, all those levels were good to go. But if you don't treat it right with the, the right chlorine tabs, with the right chemicals, and it just is neglected, this is what happens. Or if a, a water pump goes out, you know, that kind of thing, which I think that may have been part of the issue. So very, very green. You can just see the algae sitting there on top of the water. See all that? So the, the vacuum pump that we have isn't doing the job that it should be. And this is just a losing battle. So um, my friend, to my friend, it wasn't worth the $500, $600 of chemicals just needing to get this back to where it needs to be so um, they've opted out to draining the pool so today's video is going to be how to drain the pool uh, using this pump I'm gonna show right. you so we have this utility transfer pump here all right it says it is a 120 volt so you just plug it into your normal outlet thermally protected so this is what we're gonna use to pump out the water, okay? And so as you can see, you got two hose hookups, okay? Come over here, you'll see this arrow. So this is gonna be the flow. You got in, so you can see that, in and out, all right? So this is gonna be our, our pump. We're gonna hook up this hose over here that's gonna go that's gonna bring it in to the pump here. Okay, so let's get that on. Okay, so we got the inside hooked up and we're gonna have this hose go out towards the grassy area away from the house. All right, so now that each hose is tightly threaded on, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in, get it turned on. And most likely it's not gonna start pumping right away, so there's a trick we have to show All you right, to do. So before we can plug that in and get the power going, we need to take we need to take a wrench. This is a 14. And we're gonna open this line up because right now it's closed. Okay, so now this line has been opened up, okay? It's even loose. So we just want it to be opened up. We want to loosen up too much. So now the water should be able to flow through. So now we're going to go ahead and plug it in. And it will sound like it's wanting to work, but it... Most likely won't, because we're going to have to do this a couple times, because we need to go ahead and prime the input line. So we're, we're going to go ahead and plug it in. If we're lucky, this will be sucking already. Okay, so I don't feel any suction with this one. So I'm going to turn it off. So we're going to go ahead and prime this line by putting enough water in it so that it can ideally go all the way down. But I just got a gallon of tap water. And this is just to prime the line so it can create suction and the pump can actually do its job. Alright, that's one gallon of water. All right. Now, I'm going to put this back in. I'm just going to kind of walk out the line. And look, I already see bubbling here. So, we're going to go ahead and try this again. I see some water.
All right, so I, again, I see some water coming out here. Go ahead and try it one more time. Plug it one more time. I just wanted to tighten this so it's so loose. All right. There you go. Look. Perfect. All right. We are we are in business. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hose set up. I'll show you how I got it here in a moment. Approximately 1.30 in the afternoon when I started this. So we're just gonna keep an eye on this. You absolutely wanna keep an eye on the water level. So you do not want all the water to disappear, or your hose to be in a high spot, and your pump to dry out and burn up the motor. That's a big no-no. So it seems like all the important stuff is done. Yes, that's true. But there's one more important thing that we need to do. And that is simply, we need to brush this, the algae off the sides because if not, the algae is going to dry. It's going to be a pain in the you know what to, to get those stains off and get that dried algae off. So the idea is as we work or as the pump is working, we're going to be making sure that all of our walls, um, all of our sidewalls and the flooring, it's all been brushed. So that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and show you just a little bit of that it's no big deal so that's it really if you found it helpful informational give a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and if you have any questions put it in the comments below you know I don't have my own pool this is my friend's pool so I may not know all the answers but maybe some of the other uh, members of the channel can help us out we'll figure it out together as always, I'm a handyman for the average man. Y'all take care. Have a great day. Bye. All right, so I want to follow up with you guys. Got my pump going over there. And you can tell the water level is definitely lower. We're at about six inches of progress. So pool is looking very green. Um, and as you can tell, I went ahead and went all the way around and made sure I brushed all the algae off. So we don't want that to harden at all. That will be incredibly difficult and disgusting to get off. So I'm gonna check in with y'all a little bit later as we make progress here. And this is this thing is going to be running. Uh, I don't know, day and a half, maybe two days. I'm, I honestly don't know how long, but at this rate, it will definitely be going on through the night. So I'll keep the updates coming. All right, another update. It has been six full hours, and that's all we got. It's about a foot that we've made progress on, so this is gonna be going all night long, but that's okay. All right, so as you can see, it's been 10 hours, and slowly but surely we're making progress. It's 
like maybe a foot and a half. But you can see how green the water is. Hey y'all, it has been 22 hours and definitely making good progress here. So we are say about three, three and a half feet deep. And so it's definitely looking good. And I'm going around. As we get to each each lip, I go around and make sure I scrub it all, that all the algae and the gunk is in the bottom. But let me just show you here. Look how disgusting that is. And this is the reason why it was decided to not keep maintaining it because there's a part broken with the, the vacuum pump here and it just, it was a losing battle really until we got the correct equipment and everything. And also paying for the hundred hundreds of dollars of chemicals to get this where it needed to be. So there you go. Hey guys, it has been just over 30 hours. So you can see, we're getting there. We're getting there, so you can see the, the shallow end here has like a foot. And deep in, I don't know, maybe three feet. So we're getting pretty close. Um, it's very, very brown looking, very dark. But I just wanted to give you that update. So, 30 hours. All right, so it has been 46 hours. Sorry, it's just really bright. And you can see we've done a lot here. Um, and it's practically done except for the deep end. So I had to I put the, the pump on pause, have it underneath underneath that blue bucket because it was raining earlier but you can see kind of put it on pause so that it gives me an opportunity to clean up these spots because we don't want this to stay as a stain so you know i'll probably be turning it off and on as as the the water level goes down just to give me an opportunity to be able to clean this up so we're almost at the two day mark and so we're getting to the end here hey guys so i'm done with my countdown uh, as you can see it's pretty much empty uh very very little there's like maybe a couple inches of water left i wouldn't even call it water it's just muck with all that algae but yeah so i would say total time was just maybe about 50 hours so it took about 50 hours total to, to drain this entire pool which is a good amount of time um, but I want to show you the pressure washing here. Okay, so I've done all the pressure washing from this bottom up into here. And so as it was draining, I just tried to get all the, the algae off as I could. Just get over there. So this all is going to be pressure washed. And of course all that's going to be pressure washed as well. And uh, yeah, so we're getting there. Just a little bit more. Once I once I pressure wash this and get all this muck um, all in that one spot, and there's more water to actually drain, I'm gonna keep draining this. So keep going. stages. So we got this area and now there's water that's filling at the bottom. So got the pump going underneath that blue bucket. It's gonna drain all this muck 
in the pressure wash some more, get around the edges, and before I know it, we'll be done.